Hey, yeah, it looks like we're live, right? It looks like we're live. Can, can. Can, can, can. Hey, Shalom, yes, I want to stop us all, but you know, praise the Abba, Shem, Yaw, Shai, Wa, Ha, Kadash, Ka. That's Ka. At Double Honor, Supposed of JMS, and Honesty, but it's doing the work and truth. Wa, Sincerity. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a brother, as I'm Mark from the JMS London camp. It's a brother, Yakanan, JMS London also. Can, can, can. Yeah, you know, uh, just got a got a, uh, an article that we're going to go through can't. and yeah you know, roll in the spirit on that really can't, can't, can't. i want to yeah, okay. on the screen and that I right the super bowl by the way is so uh this is an article i came across um today on a uh, foxbusiness.com and um it says here man who inherits nat turner's bible feels burden of history now um you know the reason I want to do a video on this because it just shows you how um, Eden will just basically they, they basically will just cry for when shit happens to them, but they don't want to acknowledge what's actually happened to our people. When I'm talking about our people, I'm talking about you Hispanics, Native Americans, and you Negroes, man. They don't want to accept that they've actually taken you down as a nation, and um, that the real judgment is really coming to them. They don't want to accept that, man, right? So I'm going to read it through a little piece of this article. It says, um, it was a historic relic said to be worth millions. The Bible confiscated from Nat Turner in 1831 after he led the deadliest slave war ever in the U.S. Oh, I can't, if, if I'm going to pray, hey, Mars, yeah, we, you know, we, we can hear you now. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's better, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's better, I can't. Yeah, you know, just going and, you know, it's probably Mars. I mean, introduce yourself, Mark, innit? Okay. Yeah, Shalom. Yeah, Bashim Mashai. Makfa, Bashim, Rakar Kadash. I'm Matazar from GMS London Central Camp. Shalom, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, so we'll play on reading from the article, man. You know, it says here, um, in 1831, after he led the deadliest slave revolt ever in the US. So it said the deadliest slave revolt ever in the US, man. So straight away, as soon as you read the article, they're looking for sympathy, man. Mm. Like they're, trying to, they're trying to paint Nat Turner like he's some bad guy. Like what he done was actually not even the right thing to do. Well, he was in slavery, man. <laughs> right? These people were in slavery. And what do you expect? So what if a whole a whole uh, white family, a cracker family, Edomite family got killed at the hands of this man? What have you done to the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American, man? Come on. That's right. That's right. You deserve that in the first place, man. But they want, even in these articles, they want to try and play the card like, yo, man, he, you know, he was a he was a big black man and he fucked us up. He nearly wiped off our family. They, they even say that in the video, man. Yeah. He nearly actually killed off our family line. But hey, man. He says, hey, they, they obviously don't read that in Obadiah 1, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> right lined up, man. All right. God, God. Inherited the Jeez. book, he felt impelled uh, to hide it away. I just don't think he knew what to do with it, says Morris's stepdaughter, Wendy Creekmore Porter. It sat in the back of a closet in the dark, wrapped in a cotton towel. And it says here, you'd ask Morris for a question and he might change the subject or just didn't elaborate as Mark Pearson, Morris's cousin. So basically, they've inherited um, Nat Turner's Bible, man, right? They've inherited his Bible and they, they basically keep it locked away in the attic. And they don't like talking about what happened to their family. You know, by the hands of Mark Turner and the people he raised up with him to, um, you know, so-called get revenge on, on the Edomites for having them in slavery. It's something they don't even want to talk about. But when it comes to making a mockery of you Negroes, Hispanics and Native American and reminding you of your past as a slave, they have no problem doing that, man. Mm -hmm. Right? These Edomites cool. have no problem whatsoever reminding you of your history of being a slave. In fact, it's in their best interest to remind you that you're a slave so they can keep you in that mind. Done. Because what, it, over here in, uh, in England, oh, every October is so-called Black History Month, right? And That's all they ever talk about cool. is, oh, oh yeah, you remember that time when you was a slave? Remember that time when you was a slave? Done. That's right. That's right. That's they don't it. really That's talk about it the greatness of Jake, innit? They don't like to talk about the inventions that Jake did. But they don't like to even talk about when Jake was uh, helping Esau in the world wars, man. 
Ja? Die, die sind jeder Meister, die Devils, man. That's right. No wonder why Job 924 says what it says. You know, he covers the faces of the judges. Yeah, come on, man. Let me get that. I mean, I, I can get it quicker if you want. Come on. Man's got it ready, isn't it? Cool, cool. Wait, is it's a Job 924. Oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, come on, follow me. So it's Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. And day in, day out, we, we, we always go to the scriptures, especially in the highways and byways. Who does this apply to? Esau, man. Yep. There, is no, there is no one on this earth, no nation on the earth more wicked than Esau, man. No one can compare to the amount of massacres he's done. Can't. Every day, the guy is going into everybody's countries, you know, invading people's societies. And he's bringing what democracy, his philosophy, his um fake version of peace. But all he's doing is sucking the people dry, man. That's right. Destroying morals. You know, he um what does it say? He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Covers what? What does that mean to cover? He hides away, man. He shuns them to the side. Yeah, he doesn't give them credit. You know what I'm saying? Can't I mean, so, the, the, the the number one hmm. way he did that. Was uh, with our Lord, you had a shot. Oh, oh, oh. Right? Well, our image was crucified. Yeah, man. It, it has uh, Revelation mm. 11, man. Mm. Right? Because he's taken the image of Yahweh Shai, who's described as the so called black man, made it look like the so called white man. <sighs> and that's a problem if you have anything to say about it. Mm. And if Esau can do that with our Lord, yeah, how m that should question you how many more lies does he have? Behind his sleeve. That way, that's, well, that's great blasphemy, man. And that's uh, what Psalms um, uh, as as the other. Let me get that real quick. Can't, can't, can't. See, going astray as soon as they if, be born. See, so if Esau can change the image of the Lord, how much more wickedness has he has he hidden, man? Um, and that's what we're trying to tell the people, uh, Israel, the, the truth out here, man. The identity of the Lord, your identity that you're not African, yeah, you're not American. Yeah, those those are for, those names are formulated by two white men, man. Mm. So how the hell can you be from those those people? Can't, can't. Yeah, yeah. I got the scriptures. The sons of David and three says the wicked are strange from the womb. They go oh. straight as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Can't, can't, man. So what they say, so the so yeah. from the room, so, and, and they go straight as soon as they born speaking lies. This means that these guys, they're just inherently liars. Oh, they, that's they, right. They lie by everything. And what it was, I uh, believe, an Oxford study, which basically said that to get up in this one, she could have be a good liar. It was, oh, uh, yeah, that's it, right. It was a reputable, uh, 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 let's call it source, I forget from where, right? But it said to get up in this world, you've got to be a good liar. Uh -huh. right. When you look at the, um, the law system, you know, the so-called justice system, and you look at salesmen in general, like, you you know, when you're a salesman, you work for another company, really, mm -hmm. you're just selling lies, man. You know, you're selling lies. And when you're when you're a lawyer for someone else and they've committed a murder, what are you doing? You're trying to, you're trying to negate the fact that they've actually committed a murder. Even if you know they've got the evidence, you're still trying to lie for them, man. Uh, that's the spirit I was actually mm -hmm. thinking about that earlier on. Mm. You know, I was thinking about literally a couple of um, maybe an hour or so ago, that exact same thing. How these lawyers, they're basically, you know, they don't, don't know the keys is guilty. What's, what's that film? Uh, it's, it's got uh, Neo and Charlize Theron, like the, uh, mm. and you've got some other cat, Italian geezer playing the devil, mm. right? And then <laughs> he's basically a lawyer, Neo playing a lawyer, and, lawyer, and we've got the, the guy was like uh, getting done. We call it child porn or less than a child or whatever. And then right. the, the lawyer sees the guy start basically wanking off. So he's like, shit, man's guilty. But man's mm. still back. Man's still like, nah, he didn't do it, man. You know, he gets him off. Yeah. yeah. And lies, mm. man. And that's their mm. job. That's why you yep. see celebrities, they will hire, um, you know, celebrity lawyers to get them off of a case. Even if hey. they've done it. I mean, look at OJ, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah look at OJ. Hey, you didn't do anything wrong, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, according to the law, he actually didn't do anything yeah. wrong, man. You know, but the reason mm. I even brought that point out is because that's Esau's whole system, man. 
it's mm. based upon lies, man. You can actually make a yeah. career out of being a liar. Mm. You know, that's Esau's system in he's a winging it. Can't he's mm. forever winging it in this kingdom, man. Hey, as brothers always speak, but they, we, we all got a boss that wings it, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. no, hey, hey, you had even that Rick Ross lyric, man. It was like I had the dream team, Robbie Kardashian, you know, naming the whole bunch of lawyers, man. Yeah. Mm. Can't, can't. Can't, man. Can't, can't. The, well, that's why the, so like, on, yeah, that's that's why they make that term. I don't know if you guys heard the term hush money. Mm. Yeah, Have yeah. you heard of that term? Right. Yeah, yeah. So basically, if there's a lie and you want to keep it hidden and dark, they give you some money to keep your mouth closed, man. Yeah, God. That's what Esau does, man. Especially in the in the industry, in the, the entertain, entertainment industry. I want me thing like is, you got, in mm. those industries, Esau can just mm. kill you off, man. Now yeah, you just, yeah. just, just release uh, an article, make all the newspapers on it, and then you're done. Mm, that's it. Uh, a lot of those niggas, they sell them so they sell their own souls anyway. Yeah. Esau's has got their their sex tapes and yeah. everything. Put on blast if they come out online. Yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, bro. What you you got more in the article, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me carry on. It says, um, but the, the but the person family. Oh, does you wanna touch on the screen, bro? Oh, select you Right, can you probably see it? Can, can. All right, it says, but the person family does recount their complicated century-long relationship with the tattered artifact in the season premiere <laughs> of Strange, in Strange Inheritance with Jamie Colby. Nat Turner's Bible is the second of two new episodes airing on Fox News. So this is actually a whole series that they're actually putting together of uh, Nat Turner, man, which is going to be an interesting watch. Mm -hmm. a very interesting watch man right Turner is slave preacher and his rebel band killed more than so he called him a rebel well he's a rebel man ain't nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that man he was rebelling against the so-called white man who was the wicked man you know but it weren't it weren't actually you know it weren't prophecy that he was going to overcome and get away with what he done man because we were serving slavery ah uh, uh, can't hey bro uh, let me this is what um like if i may if i may so let me just get the scripture real quick right it says zephaniah three and eight says therefore wait ye upon me mm. oh that's right right lord mm. says wait ye upon me man because at the end of the day we ain't be um getting out of this kingdom so quickly man God. you know that that was probably yeah, like, prophecy, yeah. prophecy hadn't hadn't been fulfilled right you know the mark of the beast weren't out this time the other, and, and and ultimately the lord weren't with it man yeah can't can't we weren't we're with it you know the you know 1970 had to come they had to fulfill the three and a half days yep right and, and then we, we were supposed to be serving slavery man that's it man. and even unto this day we are that's why we wait yeah. for the lord to come back well and especially now man we try that shit you so we just drop a bomb man can't that's right man that's his blessing at the sword yeah that's it man hey because um you know they say that he was inspired by the bible he was inspired by the scriptures he was reading and then he found out that you know really they're the wicked so that's why he started doing mm. what he was doing but you can't do that right now like the brother just read in the scriptures we gotta wait on yahabashim yahushim and you can't take it into your own hands and think that you're gonna carnally take down this so-called white man you can't do that and that Turner is a great example of, of, of actually proof of that, man. Right? Mm. Because when you read the history, this guy was skinned alive, man. And the Lord allowed yeah. that to happen to him because the Lord weren't with him with what he mm. was doing, man. Yeah. You know, we got to serve slavery and we got to wait for Yahweh Hashem Yahusha to deliver us for save the Lord, as it says in the scriptures, man. We got to be beamed up out of here, man. That's right. That's right. You know? So it says here, um, so he killed more than from, 50. He killed more than 50. Yeah, can't, can't. Just, uh, just, uh, just quick scan the scripture because I just uh, uh, going further in on the point. 
that we yeah. ain't supposed to be growing carnal, right? So this is second Corinthians ten and four. So for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, God. right? What what Nat Turner was doing ultimately he was carnal. Hey, don't get me wrong, man. It would have felt good, you know, dealing, <laughs> doing, you know, doing some uh, again some <laughs> recompense, right? But ultimately, yeah. right? Uh, now we read before, wait ye upon me. Right, yeah. so the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of of of, of strongholds, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we, we we fight a spiritual war. Right, we our army, um, our army, our armament is these scriptures, and you see when the people come up to the camp, yeah. right, they get cut whenever we um, you know, we, we break down their 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 lives that they they want to, uh, which call it continue. They they get cut, man. They don't they don't really want to get down with it, man. Right. When you see them all bleeding down the street and shit, and like, uh, mm. you know. So yeah, that's it on that. Can't, yeah. can't. Can. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's like a, I got that in it. Come on, bro. Yeah, it's like um, this is a uh, First Samuel fifteen and twenty three. Back on the point of you know you got to wait upon the Lord. Mm. Yeah, the Lord has his his own set time. And everything in the scriptures is, is appointed for a set time, man. It's prophecy. One thing you need to understand about Bible prophecy, you can't change it, man. Whatever's going to be is going to be. Do you understand? So, first time is 15, 24. Will be, will be. <laughs> <laughs> it says, for rebellion is, it, is as the sin of witchcraft. So, what and that turn actually did was rebellion, man. He went against the scriptures. Yeah. Although he had the right spirit, you know, he, he was anxious or how's it, how, how to say it? He Scripture says, um, yeah, he was zealous. He's zealous, but guess what? It was not at the, the right time, man. Because the scripture does say hasten the day, but at the same time, it says that we don't know the, the day or hour, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's well, all down to the Lord. Part of this thing is patience. Mm. Right, that's why it's patience. suffering. Yeah, part of it, I was at Sirach too. Mm. It speaks about woe unto them that have lost patience, man. Let me get that real quick. Um, right, so Sirach 2.14 says, Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will you do when the mm. Lord shall visit you, man? Yeah, well, that's yeah. losing patience, man. You just got to carry on suffering until the time such that the Lord mm. wants to deliver us, man, and that's it. That's it, man. Mm. You know, um, Yahushai is a great example of that, man. Mm. Yahushai could have taken down all, all, every single Edomite when he was walking the earth, man. You know what I mean? He could have mm. taken down the people that pierced him within, within a blink of an eye, but Yahushai knew that that wasn't according to the prophecy. Yeah. Yahushai knew that he had to wait upon basically prophecy. That, you know, the, it's all about the spirit of prophecy, man. It's not about mm. taking back into your own hands mm. saying that you're going to try and fulfill prophecy on your own you can't do that man you got to wait on the Lord man that's Yahweh right, that's to right. wait on Yahweh until he saw fit that he was going to get his glory and that's yeah. what Yahweh should have done can can yeah. y'all got a precept after you as well up can go on bro I'm out well. yeah oh, you, you want me to finish the job yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. See? So you ain't supposed to rebel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, stubbornness yeah. is as iniquity, iniquity and idolatry. Yeah, because if you're trying to do your own thing, that's pride, man. Yeah. And what does, what does the scripture say about pride, man? Pride goes before what? Yeah. Destruction. That's right. You're going to lead to your own death, man. Because you're not you're not going through the spirit and name of Yahweh, Bashim Shah. You're going of, on, of your own will. Mm. And whenever you do that, it just leads to destruction, man. Yeah, that's yeah? Right. so that's it with that, man. Time, time, time. So yeah, my quick one. Mm. Mark thirteen and thirteen, just my thing about patience, right? So, uh, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Ooh, ooh, that's right. That's right. So that's we got to endure, man. And this is all about endurance. This truth is all about endurance, man. It's all about, you know, catching hell. It's all about seeing your enemies reign over you for a time, but then mm. having the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai returning 
and then restoring you back as a people, man. That's what this is all about, man. Yahushua went through it already, man. So Yahushua is the example we use and that we aspire to, aspire to so we can, you know, basically, you know, enjoy, man, until we get out of here. Ooh, that's right. You know? Right. I I'll read some more of this article. Okay. Um, it says, um, let me look for a few other pieces. It says here, Turner's copy of the book was submitted as evidence in his trial. <laughs> he was convicted and hanged, but his name remained on the tongues of Americans in the decades before the Civil War. So what um, Nat Turner basically did, it was a big thing in that time, man, because these Edomites have been killing our people for so long without having any sort of um, recompense, right? And then when this guy came along and just killed a whole bunch of them, that was a great shock to their power, man, even though it was mm -hmm. one man and his little gang. So imagine the time when Yahweh Shah actually makes his return. Mm -hmm. Imagine that time when, when, when the elect is raised up and we're made into new freshening instruments, man. What's going to happen? Yeah. How is Esau? Esau ain't going to handle that, man. It's going to be a bloody time, man. It's going to be a bloody time when the Lord returns, man. Yeah, hey, hey, bro, you can't just say that and, and not, not expect me to get as there. Man. <laughs> That's right, 60. God, God. Oh, damn, my, 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 uh, my computer's dying right now, man. Right, it says, uh, as there, 63. Right, it says, who is this that comes from Eden with dyed garments from Bosra that mm -hmm. is glorious in his apparel, traveling in greatness of his strength? I that speak in righteousness might say, Lacey, you took my hell shine, man. Yeah. Right? So, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fat? I've right. treaded the wine, I've trodden the wine press alone, and of, and of the people there was none with me. For I'll tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain my raiment. Right? Beautiful. <laughs> Time. Yeah, it's that, that's the time. That's the time we're really looking for, man. When Yahweh Hashem Yahshai comes back, there's gonna be a lot of bloodshed, man. You know, the, the men of the Lord, we're gonna be raised up. We're gonna have the spiritual powers. We're gonna be, you know, put on another level through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And it's just right. gonna be an, an innumerable amount of bloodshed, bloodshed upon the earth, man. You know, mm -hmm. all, all over the earth, man. Right. World War Three is coming also, man. All of these things, all of these prophecies are going to come to pass. And they're going to come to pass real soon, man. Right. Right. It says right. here, they knew the family connection uh, to the slave revolt, says um, Chikmo Porter. They asked, would you like the Bible that Nat Turner left behind? That was in the middle of the Jim Crow era. So and basically, look, they've been holding on to this Bible, man. It's it's become like um, an <laughs> epic piece of um, memorabilia in their household, man. They don't even know what to do with it. It, it just terrorizes them. The, the, the mere thought of even having it, man. But that's how it's gonna be in that day, man. They're gonna be terrified of you, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You ones that are in your right mind and that have this trick. They're already terrified of us, man. That's right. They are actually already terrified of us. These Edomites are terrified of the Israelites, man. Oh man, we're the worst thing that's happened to them, man. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's we, right. We, 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 the we challenged their, um, you know, the, you know, this white supremacy, man. Huh. Mm. What? That's right. Now, when we're on the highways and the byways, you see, you look into the eyes of some of these Edomites, and they look at what we're preaching and what we're teaching. They can't believe that it's actually happened. It's like, oh, well, this is the beginning of our kingdom going down. They can't believe that's right. You know, like the eyes are going to pop out of their head sometimes. <laughs> God, that's right. Because we're not even being carnal, man. We're not being carnal. But it's the word. It's the word that's so powerful that gives that effect, man. Because the word is more powerful than any carnality we can ever bring to the table. Hey, oh, you can't just say that and not allow me to get this scripture. <laughs> <laughs> so it says Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful. Uh, sharper than any two edged sword, yep. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and it is and it mm. is the discerner 
of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So we break that down, right? So for the word of the most high is quick and powerful, and sharp than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the sound of soul and spirit space. When people get, you know, hearing the breakdown, hearing that they're Esau, hearing that they're um you know, that they're mm. destined for uh for what do you call it for slavery, man, that's that cuts them, right? But they're not coming to oh, do yeah. some slick shit. Like you get those um what do you call it? you get those uh those Christians that will you know like to pretend like they study right they'll come along and they'll be like oh yeah yeah cool i know what i'm gonna do then you know but then they think we just don't some random niggas who don't we don't study man then they get mm -hmm. caught in the scriptures and they don't know what to do they don't know what to do right and that hurts them more than anything <laughs> else man right because that mm -hmm. that they thought they had over jake was intelligence they thought they had intelligence over jake but they now now they've come to realize that's not true especially when it comes to these scriptures Right, so they'll say you now the Edomites are done away with, and then we'll just we'll, we'll cut them on that. Mm. That's right. Yeah, can I got something to say as well, man? Yeah, these these Edomites, man. Like little brother just said, man. You know, sometimes you might trap them with a question and say, "Oh, um, is what what you you did to our people was it a good thing, and should there be justice?" You know, a lot of them don't want to answer that, man. Mm. They're hypocrites. But if you tell them something else, like Oh, if this family killed this family, you think this family should have justice? I was like, yeah, definitely. They should definitely have justice. You know, it's not right. You know, whatever you do to them, you do to others. You know, that's what they're saying, yeah? But I, I just want them to answer this question, if, if they're called this, you know, this scripture. This is Revelations 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. And this is for you Christians as well, man, because you like to call yourself saints, yeah? You like to say you have faith in the Lord. All right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So that's prophecy right there. Whoever led Israel as a nation into captivity, you are destined to go into captivity, man. You're going to slavery. You're, it's inescapable, inevitable. That's right. That kill it with a sword must be killed with a sword. Yeah. Must. You have to. <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only option. Uh, this is the this is the Lord talking, man. And it says yeah. what? Here is the remember we were talking about patience, right? Because not not Turner didn't have patience, right? Come. So listen to the listen to the patience that we have. Everything that was just read. It says, Here is the patient and the faith. This this is why we were out in the corners for, man. For Yahweh Basham Shah to return and to, to gather the elect, be on top, and we enslave the others, man, and get killing, man. That's right. This is here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah. Psalms 114 and the last verse, 148, it says Israel is the saints, man. There's no way around it. So what do you Christians have to say to that? What do you Edomites have to say to that? Because this is in the Bible, man. That's right. And this is Bible prophecy. Yeah, man. Hey, I got a quick one. Right, this is Genesis um, chapter 9 and verse 6. It says, Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by a man shall his blood be shed. Right? Right. Hey, <laughs> he saw shedding a lot of blood, man, of you Negroes mm. and Native Americans, man. So that blood that he shed, it has to be recompensed, man. It has to be paid back onto him, man. Yeah. Right? All of those babies that he cut out of, um, you know, the women's um, stomachs before they were born. Oh. All of the all of the alligator boots that he made. All of the abortions. All, of, all, of, the, all of the the little baby boots that he made with the skin and the lampshades and the you know all of Esau is a sick person, man. Right? Esau got pay for all of those things that he done, man. And Esau knows, he knows it's coming back to him, man. He knows it, man. They you can just see it when you look in their eyes. They can see that revenge <laughs> is gonna come back on them, man. They're through, man. You can see they're through, man. For real, mm. they know it, man. You can see there's a glare that that fear in their eyes. They know that it's coming to them, but they just don't know when it's gonna happen. But they mm. see that it's gonna happen soon, and we feel that it's gonna happen soon, man. Lord willing. That's right. Lord willing, come. Come, 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 come. Yeah, man. But you got more in that article, huh? Now that's it for the article. I just wanted to uh, bring up some scriptures now. Come, come. That's all right. 
Um, Obadiah, um, chapter 1 and verse 10, it says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Mm. Right? So, so, so for the violence that we've endured by the hands of the so-called white man, you know, hey, they're gonna get it, they're gonna get it, man. They're gonna get they're gonna get it paid back ten times over, right? And they're gonna be cut off forever, man. So they're not even gonna exist as a nation of people no more once no. we're in the kingdom. Yeah, hey, get it. Grab that in verse 18, isn't it? Can't, can't, it's here, yeah, can't. Yeah. You know? That's what's gonna happen to these Edomites, man. Now then, this is verse 18, and it says here, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of basically representing the whole house of Israel, man. Exactly. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall be not any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it, man. So there's not going to be any remaining of you Edomites, of you so-called white people with the biblical Edomites in the kingdom of heaven, man. Right? So you can't be telling us to let bygones be bygones. And let the past be the past and you know forget about it. Forgiveness, mm. forgiveness is not for you, man. Ah. No, you're gonna That's have right. to pay for what you've done. There is no forgiveness for you as a people, man. Right? We'll forgive our brothers, we'll forget our own, we'll forgive our own people, mm. but we can't forgive mm. you man, because forgiveness was not made for Edomites. Edomites were created That's right. to be a, a vessel of destruction, man. That's hey, right, hey, man. Hey, from the root. Well, it says that in Romans 9, man. It's from the room. Yeah, room. Room. <laughs> even, uh, no, no, I mean, if we could load it up on the screen, um, I'll, I'll read and uh, just sort of probably can follow along. Kind, right? Mm. Right, this is uh, Romans 9 and E. Uh, and uh, we, where should I start from? Right, start from verse 9, right? This is, uh, for this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebecca also received, had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, might neither having done any good or evil, but right, the purpose of the Mosai according to the election might stand, right? Uh, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Right. Who came out first? Yeah. Esau came out first, man. He was the firstborn. Mm. Mm. You know? So that you will get them so-called Jews saying, well, you know, we supplied him out of his birthright and it wasn't the right thing to do. Well, that's how the Lord set it up, man. Yeah, hey, that's hey, right. what, what was what was said uh, when when I, um when we're still pregnant, man. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> what you have, what you call it, you have a uh, the elder shall the elder serve the younger. younger. Yeah. Yeah. That seemed to ha happen that way. That's right. Mm. Mm. The Lord spoke in it, and it came to pass. That's it. The Lord spoke that, man. It, it, that wasn't of man. That was of Yahweh about Shimei man. Mm. The Lord made right. it. He made the formula that way, man. Right? It doesn't matter what, what you so-called Jews think about it or you Edomites think about that, man. Mm. Right? That's how the Lord... Had it go down, man, and that's how it went down. It's simple as that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be down with it. We're not trying to convince you, man. We're trying to. <laughs> that's right. We're trying yeah. to convince you to believe this, man. You're gonna believe it when you feel that whip on your back, man. That's mm. when you're gonna believe the truth, man. That whip, you know? boy. Can can can. It's gonna be it's gonna be whips and pits, boy. God. Yeah, yeah, hey, before, so what if some do not believe? God, God. Right? So what, the Edomite, you know, they don't believe they're going in slavery. It's awesome whether they're going in slavery when they've got shackles upon their neck. Mm. Mm, that's right. Like, what does scripture say? If, if I'm going to let just get it real quick. Like Revelation 18 and 6. Right? It's below. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you. Right, and double unto her, double according to her works. Right, and that double isn't a literal double. That's that's a basically a hey, give it back to her, man. Yeah. Her works and the cup which she had filled filled to her double. Right, and that cup is talking about slavery, man. Right. And all of the different wickedness um, that Esau has done, well, they're gonna have to pay for that. 
they're going to have to pay for that and they're going to pay for it back not double an infinite multiply mm. right? talk about how our minds meditate tells right now we you know we get frustrated because we be meditate and terrorism we can't do shit about it now why because we got to stay spiritual man that's right. Right. right up until the point that the lord raises us up right because going back to to the case of nat turner right the mm. lord hadn't uh basically given the okay yet to take esau down right so then what mm. happened he's going to use his superior power right to take to take him down and then well, he got a dishonorable death man <laughs> Right, yeah, hey, mm. to be skinned alive, that's a terrible way to go, man. Yeah. yeah. That is a terrible way to go. And that's, you know, that's what happens when you don't weigh upon the Lord, man. They can't, hey, but I've got to say this, though, what? Uh, then, you know, oh, it's just the same doctrine, but you can just imagine when that turn is in the kingdom, man, he's going to be skinning some Edomites alive, man. <laughs> that's right. That's going to get his peace, yeah. That's a possibility, man, because it says we would have double. And he's a yeah. like so you know what I mean. Damn. If he ain't doing it, I'm gonna do it for him, man. What's <laughs> <laughs> that? Right. Need the mountain, the sun. Damn. Mm. Man, cause you you read some of the stuff he saw done, man. This guy thinks he's getting away with it, man. Damn. Which is which is ultimately why, for instance, for instance, right? He repays everyone else reparations, mm. which. We know we don't want your reparations, we want your blood. That's what the scriptures say, right? That's right. We pay mm -hmm. everyone else for reparations. Well, Jake, you know, if you, if, man, you can't, how, how are you going to give someone money when you ripped our babies now from their wounds? Uh, only a devil would do that. Who thinks of that, man? man? You whipped them, ripped them apart, did all manner of wickedness upon them, and you think a little bit of money is going be, gonna, to gonna be good? No. That's not what the Lord wants. As the scripture that the Bible read before, the Lord wants blood, man. That's right. That's the only way you can cleanse the land. Like if I can say also, it's not just the land of the Israelites that Esau has spilled. Esau spilled the land of our Hebrews. Yep. You know, the world, hey, the world be were made for our sake. Which That's means right. that these Hebrews mm. are made for us. They're made to serve us. Mind you're killing yeah. me, man. You're killing my property, man. <laughs> That's right. Psalms 2 and 8. Yeah, I got sign. This is um, Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, because that Eden have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. You know, time after time, according to the scriptures, you know, Esau was fucking with Israel, man. Them Amalekites, even to this day, man. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Timon and from um, Dedan shall fall by the sword. And listen to this, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do... Yeah, by who? By who, the hand of my people Israel. Man. That's right. What, what, what's one of the things they're about to say? Well, the Lord said, Vengeance is mine. Yeah, vengeance is That's his. right. And he's, well, he's going to act it out by what? The hand of his people, man. Yeah. Right. Mm, that's right. And they shall do in Eden according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. That's powerful, man. So, we'll, so basically, the Lord's going to have to put his anger in us, man. Can't, can't, can't. Because really, truly, we, <laughs> if it was up to us, we, we won't be angry enough, man. That's, That's how you know it's got to be the spirit of the Lord. That's it. See, because one drop of the spirit of the Lord, hey, man, them spiritual powers, we're going to be doing some crazy shit, man. Can't. Terrorists, as the scripture says, you know, making them see demons. Yeah. Hey man, it's gonna be crazy, are you? Hey, hey, the Lord did it during the mm. time of Egypt, man. Oh, the Egyptians were mm. bugging oh, out. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Everywhere went black. Yeah. They couldn't see shit. God. Wow, that's crazy. What kind of darkness you can actually feel? Yeah. 
you know? <laughs> yeah. Not the, the, dark, dark, you know, know, the kind of darkness you can actually feel, man. Mm. Not just you can't see, you can actually feel the presence of darkness, man. That's a whole next level of the Lord's power, man. Mm. You know, when the Lord unleashes stuff like that on this society, they're going to bug mm. out, man. They're not yeah. going to do with themselves. You know? <laughs> Time, time, time. Right, where was we at? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see what we're back in, we're still in Romans, aren't we? Right. Huh. Yeah, it says, uh, it says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Right, so the, the Lord, um, what you call it? The Lord had, uh, what, uh, what, you, what am I saying? Like, I just got a bit distracted. It says, um, as I was mentioning a brother. Is it, it's, it said unto the other shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Right, so the Lord cool. loved Jacob, but he hated Esau. But I thought the Lord was all love. Mm. Mm. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Hey, anyone else got something? Can't, can't. Mm. Uh, I've got a few more here. Right, this is um, Amos chapter 1 and verse 3. And it says here, first saved the Lord for three grand transgression of Damascus and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. So this is not the bit I wanted. I've got to go a bit down where it speaks about Edom. Calm down. Where, where is it? So like one second. I think it's verse, is it verse 11 you want, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I got it. Right, first save the Lord for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and they cast off all pity, man. So the so-called white man, when we was in slavery, this man never had any pity on us whatsoever, man. Come, right? come, come. He never had no pity on the Negroes whatsoever, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans whatsoever, man. It was hardcore slavery, man. It was hardcore raping of your women, yeah. chopping buds off, oh. killing babies, you know, knocking teeth out of your mouth and force feeding you food that wasn't even um, meant to be eaten, you know? Uh, I read yeah, yeah, article, come, come, actually, make must go off, man. Yeah, I read in one article, they would actually feed Jake, um, I think it was a pint of salt. Salt? Oh, come salt. on, bro. Feed Jake a pint of salt, man. That's somewhere you can find an article there. It's, it's madness, man. The kind of stuff they were doing to um to, to, to Jake was just unimaginable, man. Mm. You know, the list just goes on and on and on, man. So that's why the Lord is not gonna um turn away the punishment on this people, on on these Edomites, man, because they've done the wickedest things you can actually do on the on the history of the planet. Or oh, touch the apple of the Lord's eye, man. <laughs> They're that, fucked for that alone. Can't, can't. You know, you, you touch the Lord's woman, man. You know, if, if you mm. if you got a bad woman and someone comes up to your woman and punches her in the face, you're gonna feel all kinds of messed up. You, you you're gonna want mm. revenge, man. Yeah, and that's exactly what Edom has done. You you've touched the apple of Yahweh Shem Yahshai's eye. You've touched his finger. Can't can't. Yeah, hey, hey, brother. Really, hey. is not even onto us. The offense is really onto the Lord, man. Because he's greater than us. Can't. Hey, I was just saying, yeah, the brother, why join, man? If you, yeah, you want to say shalom, up. Yo, shalom, Akim. Shalom, shalom. Yeah, I'm about to see me out, Shabra. Come. Oh, some look like a dust. That's right, shalom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, just on what you said, uh, uh, a quote, I'll get it real quick, if that's okay. Zechariah yeah. 2 and 8 says, For thus saith Yahweh, but after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which told you that he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Mm. Yeah, so the apple of the Lord's eye, his favorite, man. Right? You've actually uh -huh. touched that. You, you put them in slavery, you know, for hundreds of years. You got them messed up as a people. You got them breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments that were set up for us. And then you think you can just say, let bygones be bygones. That's not gonna, it's not gonna run, man. Right? You're gonna have to pay for what you've done, and you're gonna have to pay with your blood, man. And ultimately, That's right. you're gonna have to pay by having your whole nation wiped off of the face of the earth. Beautiful. That's that's right. Anyone want to say anything? You can. Yeah, because uh, think about it, bro. What, what has Esau done to this earth, bro? Correct. Because in, even even the heathens that ruled over us, 
at no point did, was they did they have a mindset to destroy the earth. It don't make sense. How are you going to be ruling and destroying yourself at the same time? This guy, you saw the Soka Wyman, he's just self-destructive, man. Every, right. Everything he touches has to die. He's just death. Yeah, no? Death. I wonder why he, he can't. No wonder why his blessing is what? To live by the sword. In other words, to live by death. He, he's through, man. Right. One of hey, the boys man. left. I think someone got disconnected. Someone got disconnected. But well, he's back now. Yo, is everyone back? Is everyone can, can... Yeah, Shalom. Look okay. at you. You good? Yeah, yeah. I was saying, man. I was. Yeah, oh, I was God. saying, man. <laughs> I think I think we back now. I think we back. All right, Khan, Khan. Yeah, man. So that's, that's, that's pretty much it from the article. Um. So um, got... bro, bro. Bro, I, all like Isaiah 14 21 and Obadiah and that and all of that as well. I got Isaiah 14 and 21 right here. All right, Spirit, bring it out, bro. Right, so yeah, this man. is Isaiah um, chapter 14 and verse 21. It says, Prepare slaughter for That's his right. children, for the iniquity of their fathers, That's that they nice. do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the, the world with cities. Because a lot of people don't actually read the Bible for what it is. You see that one verse there, yeah? That one verse there <laughs> shows you that the Most High is not to be played with. He's basically yeah. saying, in modern day English, because you know you, you've got the, these, these these idiots out here that can't understand the old English. He's he's saying, kill their kill their descendants for the fact for the sins of their forefathers, so that those mm. motherfuckers don't ever come back in power again. Basically, take them out of God. the earth and like totally do away with them. That's what he's saying, and that's the heavenly Father that created them. So. Hey man, like it says in Romans 9, how can you then as a common man come against the most high and tell him you can't throw away, you can't do away with that heathen? Imagine you you got, you know, like a, a pair of dirty trainers that run through the mud and you're trying to throw the shit away and you get a man trying to curse you out about how you're going to handle your own possessions. You're going to look at him like, what the fuck? You get me? But that's exactly what these Christians are doing because where, where all we do is come out here and tell you the facts. Esau got to be destroyed because it's manifest destiny, man. And you can't stop destiny. And his word don't return to him, boy. Can can can. You get me. Um. Can yeah, that's and fine. Mabuka Shah as well. Uh, you know, um, you read, read Malachi one and four. Should I, do you want me to get that real quick? Did anyone got that? Or? Uh, yeah, we can get. We just read uh, Romans nine, and it might as well just get it. Yeah. If some point. Yeah, man, I mean, let's see, because what it is is that you gotta understand, like. It's a beautiful thing because when you come in the truth, like when, before you're in the truth, you think like, you know, you have this absurd mentality of no matter what nation it is, there's good people in every nation. You see, Esau don't mm -hmm. believe that. Esau, Esau, the, the elites of Esau out here, they ain't trying to have no so-called blacks in their elite circles. What what so-called black do you know that's in the Rothschild family? What what so-called Jake have you seen with a Rothschild, with the surname Rothschild behind his name? Man, they ain't trying to bring Jake into the fold, but they got you believing like, yeah, you know, like all nations can be one together that you, you ain't going to see like you know then they got they've got the eu council and they might have a an elamite up there trying to say that everyone's one together but at the end of the day behind closed doors man the, what the peons don't see esau's ruling man you get me mm. and at the end of the day he's going to be taken down man that's right taken down because of the fact that He's, he's wreaked nothing but havoc on the planet earth not only to, to is or pred predominantly to israel of course but to all the other nations all of them, man. Right, you get right. me? Like it's it's torture that it's it's slavery and torture that your son can turn around and say I'm a faggot, and and really uh, he's empowered by the state to do it, and you can't you can't do nothing to you do nothing to him. That's the curses, man. You get me? You 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 give your you know your your bare sons, but not enjoy them. That's right. Hell, that's right. Fucking hell. Go on, right, 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 if you don't man. On what you said, this is Daniel seven eighteen says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Yeah. And possess the kingdom um, hey, forever, even forever. Hey, and, when, and when you take something, you get me. When you take something, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, if anyone got the blue letter, if you can go into the word "taken" there, I mean, you know, just off the spirit, see what it says. But hey, man, this is not going to be a, a a transfer of power on some um 
diplomacy. We're not going to dem dem democratically take the kingdom of heaven, man. You know what yeah, I mean? This is not going to be no election. Man. We're just going to take. There ain't going to be no election. We ain't going to be, you know, like Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton trying to get the, trying to get Babylon to vote. This is not how it's going to work. How is Shai going to be on the democratic side? You know, I mean, the and then and then and then you know. What's it called about moving forward? And you're going to have Donald Trump on the Republican side talking about, yeah, you know, we're trying to save America and make Babylon great again. The most has coming to restore Israel back to power, man. He's doing it for force. Death, bloodshed. We're going back to the divine right of kings. You get me? A nation of kings and priests, which is what we're supposed to be, bro. Not no, not, not, not no false democracy, which is fueled by Fueled, fueled by war and money and rage anyway, but because oh, you, got, you got that, um, you know, the... Yeah, the, it's, uh, they literally just to take, to acquire, and receive, take, to receive. But to take and acquire, man. So, you know, democracy, like the so-called white man likes to promote it, is about equality and, and choice. There ain't going to be no choice. Edomites ain't going to be able to, to turn around to the Most High and tell him now, you know, we don't agree with your with, with your viewpoints or, or, or Israel. For that matter, the most I said, he ain't gonna meet Esau as a man, he's coming as a spiritual force to wreak havoc on these nations, right? We saw for the havoc they've reached onto us, man. Right. Okay. Yeah, you quoted it right as Isaiah 47 and uh, three says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, right? So, and hey, uh, nakedness of America's being uncovered, all the secrets, all the nasty, the nastiness of America that's being uncovered, and the world can see it, right? So, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Mm. Right? Mm. So when uh, when uh, would you call when the Lord is uh, comes back, he's coming back as an angelic force, man. That's right. But you ain't gonna try you because you what you get a I saw this picture, man, you had an Edomite with a, with a uh, placard saying if, if Jesus comes back, right, when Jesus <laughs> does return, you know, kill him again. Oh so wow. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> But you, but you think this time around that the Lord's going to allow you to kill him? Nah, not not this time around, man. Mm. This time around, the Lord's come back as a, as, as a power to be reckoned with. That's right, man. That's right. And notice as well, he said he's going to take vengeance, man. What's the simple definition of the word vengeance? It's basically recompense, man. You take action of the, right. for, for, for ill man, manner of judgment that's been done towards you, man. The Most High is all about vengeance, man. Righteous indignation. Why do you think there's a law... I mean, that, why do you think in certain laws, for certain laws, the punishment is death? Because if the sin goes beyond the salakia, if it goes beyond the repentance, if it goes beyond the sacrificing mm. of a lamb, and it's gonna and it's gonna influence wickedness, it's got to be put to, put down, man. That's why mm. sin for homosexuality mm. is death. That's why, mm. you know, what I mean, like that, that's why a sin for murder is death because at the end of the day, it's balance, man. You know, what I mean, mm. like this whole system is off because these got got it to where Jake will commit murder, he'll go and get a half half six years on good behavior, then he's back. Even maybe even before six six years and he's back in his community causing more havoc, killing more people. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I mean at the end of the day, man, hey, these you know the the, the Esau's got it to where he's got our people on the trip back, man. He's got our people thinking that their enemy is themselves. Where really and Shuli he is the main enemy. But of course that's the two firsts being the two firsts. But they're coming out of that man and slowly yeah. and surely people are starting to see this devil mm -hmm. hey well the two thirds gonna be destroyed man that's right see those, them two third grimy ass niggas man hey 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 bro, bro shikar posted the scripture if i may right you know mm -hmm. right it's a psalms 110 and 5 says the lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath he shall judge among the heathen he shall, <laughs> he shall fill the place places with dead bodies. <laughs> he shall That's wound the head over many <laughs> countries. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, well, that's, that's a cold scripture, man. And it's uh, that, that's just the realness of it. But when the Lord comes, but there's going to be a lot of blood in the street. Man. There's going to be a lot of death and a lot of destruction. Mm -hmm. Right, right, rightly so. Can I go a piece up here before I bounce in it? I work in the morning. Let me just get this in. This is, can you hear me, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Come on. This is Isaiah 66 and 15, man. <laughs> I love the scripture. This is beautiful, man. Because when it, when it, when I read the scripture, you know, I'm thinking films like Independence Day. Well, the first one, the second one was a bit rubbish. Um, What's the one with thingy in it? The guy from Mission Impossible. Confirmation, 
Oh, Tom Cruise. Yeah. Um, yeah, his movie. Oh, I forgot. What was it? World of Worlds. World of Worlds. That's it. Come on. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I'm just thinking of all the holy angels of the Lord, big black man, just zapping away, man, and br bringing the havoc and destruction, man. And see, Esau, the so-called white man, he he looks at the scriptures and makes his movies, man. Because really and truly, they're both <coughs> fascinated of the word and they're scared of the word at the same time because they know their judgment is in here. So yeah. Isaiah 66 and 15, for behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots, yeah, the chariots are what? Uh, Esau likes to call UFOs, man. Really and truly, they're IFOs, man. Identified flying objects for us, man. Yeah, the chariots of God, which the uh, the holy angels, they're maneuver, maneuvering with, man. Like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury. So you see, you've got a lot of Christians saying, like, oh, God is never angry. God loves. But look right here, man. The scripture says what? The Lord is angry at the wicked. How, how, for how long? Every day, man. Mm. And he's rebuked with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Yeah? Right, I just and the slave... Word. Sure, right? So this is plead in Hebrew. Right? This mm. is... Um, hold on, let me, let me <coughs> load up in full. This is uh, uh, Shapat. Right, it says to H8199 to judge, pronounce sentence. Right, oh. so the Lord is saying that, look, man, you shall judge, man. <laughs> That's right. So, so people are going to be sent to the, the death sentence, man. So, for by fire and by his word will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai shall be many. Uh -huh. That's a lot. Uh -huh. The Lord's going to be doing a lot of killing, man. Now you got to think about it. Like world wars, multiple millions died. But this, let's be real, man. The, the war that's coming, the World War Three that's coming, which we're already in, plus the chariots, and plus the men of the Lord, um, getting into action. Come on, man. There's going to be a hide and. Um, Death body count. Billions, man, are going to be gone. Okay. Plus with the famine, people dying without food and water. Diseases, pestilences, earthquakes, hurricanes, tsunamis. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Hey, this ain't much, a time. Yeah. Look, pretty, pretty much in that day, um, dead bodies is going to be a normal thing, man. You know? Yeah. You out of your house and see a, a, a rotting corpse just rotting there. That's going to, that's going to become the norm. That's the mm. level time, time, time. death that's going to be coming to the earth, man. Oh, and that's yeah. what these people are ready for, man. You know, yeah, a lot of people haven't even seen dead body before. But in that time, you would have seen tens of thousands of dead body in one day, man. And you're just going to be out. Uh, you're not going to know how to act. Mm. You're not going to know how to yeah. circumstances. Mm. Well, people might I, think that's an exaggeration, but just look at London, man. London's got, yeah. what, like 10, 7 million people? <laughs> that's a spirit. <laughs> Right, um, would you call it? I was actually further up, right? Mm. But, you know, that was, I'll start from verse 22, uh, but uh, yeah, brother posted it from verse 23. Um, if I may get it, it's the second there's 16 and 22, right? So, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Oh, so, I'm going into what the brother said now, many shall perish of famine, <laughs> right. You know, you. Uh, well, how's the food going to come in? Right, oil price. You see what happens with the food uh, prices when the oil prices go up. Yeah, there's going to be hardly any oil, man. That oil is going to be rationed. Right, so mm. our food ain't going to be coming in. It's going to be, you know, the a martial law troops bringing in that food, right? right. So then there shall no man be no man to comfort them. So what am I, sorry, I just jumped to that. So for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall be sword destroyed. So, uh, like, hey, what, what scripture do you think of Amos 5, man? Where it says, you know, a man being right. up on the wall and he thinks he's got away, or he got that place, he thinks he's got away. Right? The Lord is basically <laughs> saying that, man, look, <laughs> you know, if you don't die of famine, but right, then you, you, you know, if you do survive somehow, man, you get killed by the sword, man. Uh, that's right. Right? Hey, 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 uh, young. 
Hey, and, mm -hmm. and on the flip side of that, hey, Revelations 9 and 6, and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it. And oh, shall not die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, because that's uh, now I was back in uh, World War One and that, uh, mm. right? Because them guys got fucked up in the World War One. Shell man. shock, boy. Yeah. Them shell shock. Yeah, they were hella shell shocked and shit, mm. man. And hey, Paul was breaking it. You know, you got it. That that breakdown revelation, man. man. You got the guy. You know, he's all he's all shaking, man. You know, doing doing the Harlem shake as well, man. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, oh, you might yeah. escape the chip and catch a missile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's nah. true, you know. That's it. Bro, do you know what them scriptures remind me of? The film Final Destination, bruv. Can't. That's how it's going to be out here, man. You think you got away, you escaped death, you're all smiling, all happy, all proud. Can't, can't. Next thing you know, next thing you know, you look back. A bus just took you up, took your life away, man. Right, that's right. Mm. But then you also anything got to happens, consider, anything goes, calm. You got to consider why this heavy judgment is coming onto the earth, and it's because mm. you've got the most wicked rulership that's mm. ever been on the planet Earth. So in order ever, to ever ever mm. balance, so you got to understand this is the most mm. wicked the Earth has ever 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 been since its inception. So in order to balance that out, they got to be a heavy, 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 real judgment, man. Mm. Mm. Hey. Baba Kashar as well. I mean, I'm holding a couple myself. I got this, yeah. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 6, which reads, Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Now, when it talks about the earth, there it's talking about the entire inhabitant of the earth. Because this, this judgment ain't going to be predominantly, it's going to be up there in Babylon. There's going to be key spots that get hit up by the missiles. But it says, Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. So with this the judgment is going to be on such a grand scale. With major cities are going to be yeah. hit up. You can yeah. you can guarantee the Londons, the Parises, the oh well, the, yeah. the Rome, yeah. man, because of their pride. Yep, mm -hmm. mm. that's right, man. Sure, and they, man. a lot of these capital cities are prideful, man. Prideful, yeah. as hell. real prideful. I know the brother Razal. You always speak about the French, and you know the majority of them up in London are right? from you know they come from that Paris. You know they got that, that prideful yeah. spirit. London, you ain't going to talk about London. I yeah. mean, <laughs> Bobby London, right here, boy. Yeah, but man, the second was fifteen and eighteen says, "For because of the of their pride, the city shall be troubled, right, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid." That's right, because hey, the spirit of these people out here is, and the, it's, it's, the spirit of that is heavy out here is that spirit of you know, the spirit of I can do what I want, spirit of I form mm. my own destiny, spirit of there's no higher power above me. But these Yolo people spirit, are going to yeah. Hey man, mm. the fear of the most high is the beginning of wisdom, man. That's what wisdom, God. And, and I mean, hey man, at the end of the day, Esau predominantly, the scripture also says that as the ruler of the people, is so are, are his servants, man. You got it to where the devil's in rulership and he's pushing out that wicked ass vibration. So, how do you, like, at the end of the day, all these people out here, they, they, mm. they, 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 they indulge in that kingdom, in, in this kingdom. That's why you got, you go to Saudi Arabia and you got Saudi Arabian homosexuality, homosexuality. They're letting women drive cars there, you know, all of that. You got women that will ride hard in that Islam for not eating no pork, but they're sluts anyway. Like at the end of the day, man, everyone's forget forsaking their culture, especially Jake, of course, forsaking mm. their culture to fit into Esau's kingdom. But at the end of the day, brothers in the right mind know that hey man, this is the oppressor. It, it, the scripture says, Envy not the oppressor and seek mm. none of his ways, man. Really, That's right. really you know that this white man is going to be destroyed, man. And you see it spiritually every single day, like. I mean, you know, like, like when Neo started to wake up and he saw things in the Matrix code and he was like, yo, and he looked at his hand and he was like, yo, what the, that's how, that's how brothers be feeling all the time. Cause you see shit that happens. It goes over the two first head. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I know brothers can relate to what I'm saying with that. You know what mm. I mean? Bro, <laughs> the time will come where, hey man, Baba Kashar as well, real quick, because what you got to understand is that, hey, the most time is going to catch a lot of these people slipping. That's you right. See, a lot of these people a lot of these people are in that thing of yeah you know oh, if the Lord was going to come down he would have judged us a long time ago I've been eating mm -hmm. since I was five years old I've been going to church all this hey what is Isaiah 42 and 14 says I have long time holding my peace I have been still and refrained myself now will I cry like a travailing woman I will destroy and devour at once Girl. hey you see like a lion when a lion's ready when a lion is hunting his prey man 
before the ultimate moment when it pounces, it's 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 it's, it's, it's like a snake, even you know, a wild animal that's about hunting. It's it's fire. It, it, it waits for time, but then as soon as it pounces on you, mm. man, it's over. <laughs> Tell you, it's over. Can't go preach it. Over. Can't. That's what you think of my God, this is Matthew 24, verse 36. But that day, an hour knoweth no man. No, not not the angels of heaven, but my father only. And this is your Shai talking. You know, you got people in the Catholic and Christian church saying that, um, pushing that, that Trini Trinity doctrine, which is off, you know. The the Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ and the most high. Yes, they're in one accordance, just like just like we, we ought to be as well. But they're two different separate entities, man. And that scripture proves it right there. He said, my father only. Not even, huh? not even the Lord knows the, the, the yeah. end. Hey, and it says, that's gone. Go on. I was going to say, man, them, them doctrines, that Christianity is there to pacify Jake. Because at the end of the day, man, mm. obviously, you know, goes back to that paganism with Constantine, the council of Nicaea. But this so-called white man is using that, that Christianity to pacify Jake, man. Like, oh, that's right. You know, because Jake, Jake, by in the spirit, know that this place is Babylon. They know that it's off. But when, when mm. that, that church is like, you know, like, you know, like, like before you might have an operation and they give you that sedative drug just to kind of, kind of numb you down and just get you out mm. of your head and just not thinking too much. That's what that Christianity is. That's what that, that yeah. Islam and all the rest of that is. And really and truly, some of us, us brothers have unplugged ourselves out that, you know, that hospital chair and we out there like, yo, yeah, something ain't yeah. right here. What's going on? You know what I mean? Literally just jumped out of the crazy house, but the motherfuckers are still in there. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You got yeah, these I... like Dr. Manhattan and that keeping our people <laughs> under a fucking under under the spell of yeah, you know, everything's all good. But hey man, we can you know? That's why yeah, it's got a fact. Yeah, it's Isaiah 30 and 10, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, <laughs> prophesy not, prophesy not unto us right things. But speak mm. unto us smooth things and prophesy the seeds, man. So, like what you're saying, they're just telling our, our people smooth things, man. They're not telling them of the dangers that are coming, man. They're not telling them of the RFID chip that's oh. coming to the world. They're not telling them how to prepare for, for the coming of Yahweh Shai, man. Mm. They're not telling them about the prosperity doctrine and, you know, mm. how to give yourself a, a Lamborghini or a Rolls Royce. Well, not, uh, only that, mm. not only really, only the, the, the wicked ass pastors get that. So, not mm. even. They're just telling mm. you to over your money so we can get that and stun on you. Can't they do the scriptures not say the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets? You read Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, etc. What were they doing? They were warning of bad times to come. Yeah? Mm. You know, yeah, how was did that? Now in Ezekiel 2, it says, it, I mean in Ezekiel second chapter, it says, um, you know, not only to be a seer, but it says, if you warn not the wicked of his wicked way and he die, his blood will I require a thine hand, man. Mm. Mm. Today, like a lot of these pastors out here, man, got a lot of blood mm. in their hands, man. Because not only yeah, are they people, huh? Yeah, yeah, come, come, yeah, yeah. Not only are they telling people not to follow the law, they also getting our people pacified, trying to build up kingdoms and trying to trying to build establish mm. est establish the kingdom of heaven on this side, man. So not only have you got your own blood to worry about, you got the bloods of millions. Like TD Jakes, that guy going that guy gonna have a lot to answer for. People like that. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean, a lot of people because mm. you're, you're leading our people to the slaughter. You know, really and truly. So that's you know, the scripture also talks about false leaders, man. You know, our, our leaders are our leaders have caused our people to err, man. You know, I thought like at the end of the day, man, they got messed up in the society. Ultimately, though, yeah. are, are put in position of positions of power by who Esau, man. So um, ultimately, man, we still under captivity. We still going through hell. Our people are still being deceived. But it's all good. Because Esau is going to get his repentance, man. There's nothing. That's why the scripture says there's no place of repentance. Because this man's evil is, is, is just so wicked. He's polluted water. He's got our people's mind polluted. Spiritually, he's messed mm. us up. The whole family unit is finished. He's got he's got fucking sex dolls and robots. What more can you do, bro? I don't I don't even know, bro. Like, this place is fucked. Hey, cool. hey, on that topic, though, bro, which one of the brothers in the States posted a point. But he was saying, obviously, he was in a, not down with it. But we're just mm -hmm. making the point about how now, now, like, you know, the, you've got these sex robots, bitches want to start complaining. But they've been having dildos for the longest time. Okay. Right? And that's more or less the same mm -hmm. thing, man. Mm -hmm. Well, that's real. You know, now, now they're just threatening that that pussy power will stop having its force. Mm -hmm. well, that's real. That's real cool. Yeah, their pride's going to get destroyed, man. Yeah, I've got a preset, probably Kashar. 
That's in Mark 3 and 11. It says, The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and mm. the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean, yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil uh, can come upon us. But there, uh, therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps, and the mountains of the oh. of the house of the high place of, of the forest. Right, so we break that down. I said the heads there will judge for reward. When you see what these guys do, they, that's why they'll speak the smooth thing because they want to get that that money. Mm. Right, that's why they'll um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, lie. Mm. Right. Mm. Hey, let me even back you up on that and say as well, these churches have affiliation with the government state. Yahweh was, wasn't was rolling right. with, the, with the apostles that were preaching down the, the downfall of Rome, but then had tax-free status from Rome, man. That is just back <laughs> itself. So mm. I mean, how you how you gonna how you, how you gonna have deals with the with the with the with the, with the oppressor with, with your enemy, but then you talking about his downfall, man. Mm. Hey man. I'll go preach you know, that oh, yeah, real back, quick. Bro. Khan, that's yeah. a good point, bro. Right, so Exodus 23, 32 says, Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. That's Are right, we supposed to be making covenants with the heathens, man? That's right, man. Mm. That's right. Mm. Hey, man, Jacob so downtrodden, they believe that the heathen are on their level. That's the problem, man. You know what I mean? And they mm. refuse to believe, like, uh, Jake's biggest problem is that they refuse to believe that they're on top of other nations. And that's because they, they, they're so downtrodden. Jake, you speak to the average Jake out here. They think their biggest ambition is to be a rapper, a football mm. star, go uni. That's that's a Jake's dream. That's that's every Jake's yeah. dream. Even their payments, all they care about, they don't care what you do after that uni degree. They just want you to go to uni and get that piece of paper. That's about it. Because mm. they just fit into ESO system and make it an ESO society. And come just yeah, come just before I dip. And yeah, man, what's Jake doing though? Because you can even say it in a in a society we live in. Jake is always voting, man. They're the first people to vote, man. You know, for, for Obama or even Trump. Do you know when Trump was um, starting his, his administration, he had them two Jake, Jake bitches, the hair had hooligans, you know, vote proper proper cheering for Trump. And look at them now, man. They're, they're crying because what Trump is going to cut off some of the benefits. But either way, man, you ain't supposed to be putting a heathen on top of your, top of your nation. And why, why would you, why would you um, be cool with someone saying, let's make America great again? First of all, how was America great? So cold. Your ass was in slavery. Yeah. You're saying your ass was, was in slavery. Your, your babies were getting fed to crocodiles. Yeah. Your bellies were getting slipped open. You were getting, your jaws were getting smashed. They had to put um, a, a, a funnel to feed you pork. All kind of crazy shit, man. Made you sleep with another man's wife. Controlled breeding. Come on, man. And you're down with Esau. You're down with these other nations. Being presidents over you. You know, do you know when they knock on your door and say, Oh, who are you voting for today? Oh, fuck that, man. Your mind should be, I'm voting for Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. Yeah? To come back, man. Mm. He's, the, he, he's the elect. He's the president, man. That's the one you should be seeking for, man. But yeah, okay, man. I got a dip, though, innit? So... I'm going to say Shalom, Yaha Bashim Shai. Bashim Krakadash. Shalom. Yeah, my God, precept to Bama says Isaiah 40 and 15, right? It says, uh, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. Just uh, backing up what the brother said about how the nations are, 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 are as nothing, man. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's real talk, man. That's real talk. Hey, like, like, like we were saying earlier, bro. At the end of the day, man, Jake is the most has power. Like, it was, I don't know if you brothers brought it out already that the world was created for our sakes, you know? So, if, if, and what would the world be like without Israel, man? At the end of the day, like, Israel is the whole reason that this planet even moves the way it does. Even Easter society, the reason Easter society functions. Is because you've got Jake doing the jobs that really Esau don't want to be doing, the construction jobs. You got Jake doing the the, the the train driving jobs. You got Jake doing them retail jobs, making sure that they don't them office crackers can walk into their office with a fresh croissant in the morning. You got them Latinos doing the cleaning, cleaning their offices at night. 
Because Jake are the ones that keep society running, man. And without Jake, the society will run down. Esau is not self-sufficient, man. Correct. The reason England is so great is because of the hundreds and hundred, the hundreds and hundreds of years of free labor from Jake. Same with America. Correct. Same with a lot of these other European countries, man. You got you, you want to say something? Yeah, hey, just in general, like the scriptures say, we're the soul of the earth, man. So wherever Jake is at, that's where people really desire to be, man, because they want to mm-hmm. be around our vibration. And our people are excellent people when they're in their right mind. But even when they're not in their right mind, they still, they they got that power, man. They got that spirit. You know what I mean? When it comes to the entertainment, people look up to Jake. You know, they look up to yeah. the stars. They look up to the, the music artists, the athletes. Jake is just, right. in general, special people. So if you get rid of Jake out of the out of the, out of the main places in the world, those places become dry and flavorless, man. Yeah. Hey, man, just... Just go to a gatherings where you get a load, load of Edomites, man. All you see is some weird homosexual behavior going on, yeah. right? You know, and you just, hey, and you, you as a J, you as the like, what, what, what? The, the women are just there. Why are you, why are you doing that with it? Like, you, you know, it, it's hard to fathom, man. Yeah. Right. But even um, what do you call it? Even in general, even even like if it's at the job or something, it's usually the Jakes that be coming up with the good ideas, man. Well, the ones that that did not actually make the business, uh, you know. Hey, I'm, in a right I'm, now. Looking for. I'm in a position right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jay will be intuitive. Jay will come up with a brilliant idea. And I know Bowers can attest to this, man. That Jay will be like, "Yo, yeah, hey, 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 we should do it like this, that, and the other." And then everyone's yeah. like, "Yeah, I don't know." But then the Edomite says it, and oh, 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 yeah, yeah, it's a brilliant plan. Oh yeah. Hey, I got to interject. I must, in- bro. That shit happened to me, bro. Like I told my man, we need to do the world. But you know, you're just doing what you're doing at your job, trying to just get that paycheck up or whatever the hell. You know, I told my manager, yeah, you need your job, your plan ain't working. You need to do such, such and such. She looked at me, and I could tell in her mind she was thinking, nigga, what? You know what I mean? Looking at me like, yo. Then, the, then oh, your old Edomite man. manager says the exact same thing, but he just revamps it with that with that Edomite. Like, oh yes, yeah, um, you know, we should um, yes, yeah, um, yeah. And she's like, yes, that's a brilliant idea. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, you know, hey, what do you think happened with the light bulb? What you know, they, they got they got this guy Thomas Edison, and they're talking about how he's the greatest. You know that that that, that he created the light bulb. He, but you know, what does that go back to, really and truly, Bobby? I know you always bring it out, Raza. You know. Can't, 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 can't. But um, yeah, look, bro, the same. Uh, Jake just comes up with everything, man. Ultimately, and someone else always gets the, the credit for it. Yeah. But yeah. hey, man, the time to come. Like the brother Yakanan also mentioned, you know, like you know Jake with the entertainment nowadays, and you know, like the sports and that Jake are always revered and looked at as the great people. But it's just we're go- we're gonna consistently be revered, but it's gonna go from from irrelevant things like sport and music. To, for our knowledge and, and wisdom, man, and well, our closeness. Well, yeah, how about Shmiyan Shah? Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, all I was going to say is because that's why Esau has to actively keep us down on, a, you know, there are programs there to, to keep us down, man, right? Because when you get Jake's basically put put putting, you know, two brain cells together, man, J- Jake's, is un- Jake's is unstoppable, you know, which is why Esau has issues with these Nigerians coming mm-hmm. over here, well, making them look Esau down. hates a Jake is right man you know you know what I mean Esau oh. hates Esau, Esau hates the Israelite man and his right man that's the one thing Esau hate man hate that bad with a passion can't 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 you see and that's the beautiful thing about this truth because this truth is about realising that literally well, however long you was in the world, whether that be that 20 year period, 15, whatever the hell, whenever you came in the truth, you were literally living a falsehood, a fallacy, a lie, man. You know, and that's why I always like to liken it back to that matrix, man, because literally living that year, that life of I'm going to go to school, get some GCU, go to uni, get a good job, work to 65, die, leave some money for my children that gets taxed by it, don't matter. Hey, man. That ain't the life to live, man. They're literally gonna rule the earth, man. Through the jurisdiction of the creator of the universe. And we're gonna put um in captivity those whose captives we were, man, righteously. And it's all righteous. You see, Jake got this thing where they've been in subjection for so long. They they feel like 
them to 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 oppress anyone because they, they, their spirit is so beat down. Jake are used to being the bottom the, the bottom feeders. They they don't they 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 can't perceive themselves having their foot on someone else's neck because they've just been the rug of the of the earth for so long. But that's what we're telling Jake, man. That help you. He's trying to elevate you back to that state is obviously you know we ain't going to be on the top of the world right now but spiritually man we build ourselves back up man we were building a strong and sturdy house that Esau ain't going to be able to break down going to be a part of that they just want to because, they, because at the end of the day their spirit's been beat down and ultimately Yahabashim Yahawashai ain't giving them the understanding you know all you and elect and that's also the most high's the most high's wisdom because at the end of the day not only is Esau going to perish man ultimately but all Israel if ultimately is going to be saved, but people forget that two thirds are going to have to suffer on this side because at the end of the day they want to make alliances with the heathen. They want to, they want to, they, they want to build, a, they want to build in the he, in the heathen's kingdom. What does Isaiah thirty one say? It says, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt and trust in chariots, man." Our people go, love this place. They'll go to Vegas. They'll go to New York. You know, you got Alicia Keys talking about, "I can make if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere." You know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, all of that shit. Paris and take their women to the Eiffel Tower. They loved it. By the end of the day, man, the fashion of this world passes away, way, like the scriptures say. Really and truly. And it also says in times of tribulation, times of mirth are easily forgotten, man. You ain't going to be thinking about the love that you were eating going off with your woman in the, in, in the Eiffel Tower when the bombs are going off and, the, <laughs> and, the, and the, you're being chased by a wild boar in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. you got you got to go through the fire on the ride. Right hand side, we're going through sort of that crown of righteousness. Like, how is is going to give us an eternal crown, man? You know what I mean? I ain't going to gather dust. That that you know, that ain't going to get broken into. You don't want to break into your 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 palace and steal your crown in the kingdom of heaven. Can you imagine that? Even talk. You get me? We're going to get an everlasting kingdom, man. Uh, hey, that's what. Go on. Chill out, bro. Yeah, go on, go. On. Yeah, that's why the scriptures say um, to lay up your treasures in heaven, man. You know, mm-hmm. where moth and dust don't corrupt because anything you're gonna lay up in this kingdom, man, it, it's, there's no um, there's no sh- guarantee that it's gonna be here tomorrow, man. You know, and the scriptures say talk about the uncertain riches. You might have something one day, and then the next day is completely gone, man. Yeah, but that's right. That's right. That was shy. If you maintain an endurance to the end, that's something you're always gonna have forevermore, man. Mm-hmm. You know? that's right. so that's why it's very important to endure until the end concerning this truth man so we can have those riches that actually last forever those eternal riches man that's right bad. you don't want you don't want the, 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 the riches in this kingdom because they're not spiritual riches man you know these are unsure riches that are just here for a time and then they just evaporate right. Right. And ultimately they don't fulfill you either man Can't. You know, I mean, look at all these people in this society. They all got depression problems, whether it be Eminem, um, Beyonce, whether it be, you know, Will Smith or it's what's it called? Any one of these people, man, you, you, you watch their profiles, you watch anything about their, their lifestyles. The number one thing that always comes out is they suffer from depression, man. No matter how rich they get, man. Because at the end of the day, this society is the type where it's a, like. The left is always going to be niggas out there trying to scheme on you, trying to get your money from you. Trying to, you know what I mean? Even your own family out here, man. You, there's no one. You, this society is not built on trust, man. At the end of the day, man, people get the scripture talks in Second Timothy about, you know, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. This ain't a loving society, man. Really and truly, you could be getting beat down to death. The first thing people are going to do is pull out their phones. Uh, you know what I mean? Hey, man, you know we're going to press the heathen for what they done to us, but we're going to do it righteously, man. You know what I mean? Brothers always bring it out that we ain't just going to be tyrants like Esau, you know? Like, if if, if the nation deserves judgment, yeah. of course we can lay down judgment, but we ain't going to be b- tyrants and villains with it like the devil was, you know? No, after slavery, of course. After slavery, of course, of course, you know? Yeah, yeah. Huh? So, yeah, you, you brothers got anything, man? Uh, no, I everything, man. You know, when it's all different su- subjects, it was a spread, really. Yeah, you know, but um, that's it. That's it on my side. If your brother's got anything else, no, that's about it. I, that's about it. Time, 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 time. Hey, so Alchemy, yeah, Lord's will, you know, you know, Lord's will, you've been edified and that. 
and um, you know, you know, it's brought some GMS London camp and I use the give all praise to Tia Bashem Yasha Waha Kadash for car. Double on supposed with GMS and honesty, but it's doing the work and truth. Uh, what's sincerity, man? Shalom, shalom, shalom.